Sup guys, it's Oakley and I'm going to commentate quickly on a video that was just released today. It's actually pretty awesome. It's with Trish and Elliot uh, and they're going to be talking about multiplayer. So I've talked to Trish actually before uh, about our secret project that we're working on. Uh, she's super nice. Actually all the people from CA have been very, very helpful, very, very kind. Um, and I just love these sessions that they've been doing, you know, every other day with these videos or, you know, stuff on the forum, so it's very cool. Anyways, when we're dealing with multiplayer, they're going to announce basically what the, the, the new features are here. So the first feature they're going to talk about is nothing that's entirely new to multiplayer, but of course they've done a lot of streamlining, and that's going to be the way you have your quick battles. So, you know, that was something we saw in Shogun where it was the thing, basically the staple of multiplayer that I was always go to. Load up the game, you just hit quick match, uh, and it searches automatically for a player and matches you up with someone who's of the same rank or a similar rank as you. So that way, you know, skilled players will be playing skilled players, uh, and new players will not be being dominated by more elite players, they'll be playing other new players. Uh, so I think that'll be really cool, they talk about a leaderboard. Now there's always problems with a leaderboard of people trying to boost um, playing matches against each other uh, and then you know allowing their friends to win just to boost and then people pulling the plug on their computers so it doesn't count as a loss all this weird stuff so the leaderboards are kind of gimmicky but at least it seems like they are you know they're doing a good job trying to get these quick matches in place and when they talk about the maps for this it's very very cool the maps are all standardized maps they say they're just land so no shenanigans with uh, mixed battles and they say the maps that they've selected for this quick match are all heavily balanced now that's something they you know they've always said um, in all games, but I think uh, with the experience in Shogun, I can really see them actually promoting straightforward balanced maps. And, uh, you know, I'm just excited to see what those are. Those are going to be the standardized pre made maps, and then something they'll talk about in a little bit is going to be the campaign maps. So, I will just say right now that I'm excited for multiplayer. Nothing groundbreaking um, in terms of revolutionary features, like no real new. Um, well, actually, there are new game types, I guess you could say that. Um, yeah, we'll actually go into that a bit, but like. Uh, none, none of the huge overhaul that I thought, but I think what they're doing is they're doing a good approach to it, they're nailing the basics, and uh, I'm very happy to see how it rolls out. I think it'll be a substantial part of what I do come Rome 2's launch. So right now what he's talking about is essentially how uh, in your battles you'll actually be able to have custom battles. So custom battles are outside of quick matches, and when you do a custom battle you can outline a lot of different features. Um, and he says that there's actually a whole number of battles that you'll be able to choose from. Uh, and also what you can do is this is basically makes it unlimited in terms of how many maps you can play on. So when you do your custom battle, you can either choose from the creative assembly map, look at the presets. Um, you can have some pre-made maps or you can find maps from the campaign map. So you select a region, you can see here it says Iska, it's a grassland so it tells you what type of map it is. You get a preview on the top right and then also you can see the coordinates and so you can explore everywhere on the map. So either for a land battle or if you click on an area that's in the river you'll fight you know, a combined battle or I'm guessing you can even choose to fight out in the ocean. What's really cool about this is you can share, save, and uh, you can see here the history and stuff like that. Save it with your friends. And uh, yeah, even the desert out here, if you want to fight a desert battle, go find a cool place with a nice dune. So that's really cool. I really like this feature. It'll allow you to have a lot of very, very interesting um, reenactment battles. So for example, if you want to try and fight at, uh, you know, recreate the Battle of Pydna or Kanai or... Um, uh, Pharsalis and all this stuff, you can kind of get in the same geographic region and look for a map that really uh, pertains to what you want to play. Also, there are going to be all the types of varied maps that you can choose from, so for example, ambush type, um, fortified town assault, unfortified town assault, combined battle, um, you can get everything is going to be in this custom uh, um, custom uh, game selection and you can also choose which direction the attacker comes from all this stuff they are really saying you can emphasize this and share it with your friends i think it's gonna be cool um so we'll, i'll be doing stuff on my channel where i'll you know take requests from the community and we'll showcase cool areas in the map uh for example memphis memphis if you were to find the pyramids um you can actually save that as a preset and fight with the uh, the pyramids in the background so i'm sure people will quickly find all these places uh they talked about how you can fight uh, around stonehenge so what i'll be doing on my channel is probably making a playlist where i try and find all these various places and share that with you guys i think that'll be cool that way we can share with everyone you know um, some really cool maps and uh, it'll definitely help what I'm trying to do in my historical videos 
where I can really, really bring you into, um, you know, I'll try and re recreate the arm army composition, I'll try and recreate um, the best looking battlefield and all that stuff, so it'll make it that much more uh, historically authentic, so I'm really excited for that for a number of reasons, and I think it'll be very, very cool, I think in terms of adding to the longevity of the game, I think being able to choose from essentially infinite numbers of maps is very, very cool, and the fact that it's like, it's not just a randomly generated map, it's something that's based off somewhere on the campaign, it'll allow you to sort of role play and pretend you're doing these campaigns and a lot of people who want to make these made up scenarios it'll be really cool for that uh, sort of playing along with that um, I'm definitely looking forward to it uh, especially the community aspect to it where people can uh, are encouraged to go and explore the map and uh, it'll make for a very fresh experience very community centric experience and it'll open up a lot of new doors as for the core multiplayer experience you know it's just gonna be the leaderboard uh, is gonna be coming back then you have this thing for the custom battles for the hardcore players, they basically said, you know, we'll have a matchmaking system that takes into account your rank, and we'll have standardized maps that you can choose from. Um, and then another big feature is going to be the line of sight that we'll see later in the video, but I'll cover that mostly in another thing. But uh, yeah, those are going to be the main features of multiplayer. I think it's very, very cool. Uh, and for example, here they point out that uh, the Battle of the Nile demo, you can even go and find that on the campaign map. So uh, Tudorburg Forest is also going to be making an, uh, an appearance if you find its exact coordinates. You can have an ambush battle and recreate that in a custom battle sense. So it won't just be a historic battle with the scripted stuff. You can also do, you know, Battle of Carthage, make a 4v4 siege. That will make for some epic, epic cinematic gameplay. I'm super excited for stuff like that. Uh, that is going to be sick. You can do the sacking of Rome where you maybe give like six players on at, on attack um, and then you have like two players on defense. You can do a lot of combinations and permutations and all sorts of really cool stuff. So I'm looking forward to showcasing that on my uh, on my channel. Also, you know, trying to promote uh, these historical battle events and do theme throwdowns. There's, uh, there's so much we can do besides just the campaign. Um, so I'm really excited for this. Next, they're going to be showing off this battle here, but this is where I'm going to end it for this video. I'll come back and cover this in a little bit. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to get out my preliminary impressions and explanation of the multiplayer side of things. So yeah, stay tuned. I'll have these later on. Uh, see you guys next time. Thank you.